Let's get straight to it then. India seems to have gotten its Christmas gift a little early. The rupee is on an upward surge with the currency being on course for its best quarter. That's three month performance since the year 2017. The rally is expected to run well into the new year. Keep in mind, during most of this year, elevated fuel costs and energy costs and a strong US dollar combined to make the rupee Asia's worst performing currency. But now, a slump in crude oil prices and a slowdown in the pace of monetary policy tightening by the US Federal Reserve mean that the rupee may resume its winning ways in the upcoming 2019. The rupee jumped over 2% over the last couple of days alone. This is a welcome news as political uncertainties were expected to trip up the currency. Lower crude oil prices has, however, offset it. And we have uh, World is One's Sumit Chaturvedi now joining us uh, for more. Sumit, uh, you know, we've always been talking about what a difficult time it has been for the rupee, the worst performing Asian currency for the year 2018. But looks like there is the sweet surprise right at the end of the year 2018. Well, absolutely, Krishna. I remember we used to talk when rupee was nearly touching 74 to a dollar mark, and now it is in the 70 rupees to a dollar mark zone. That's a clear, we can say, that big win for rupee in currency over the last three months only. Well, the biggest reason is again the crude. Crude prices have softened. We remember 80% of India's crude imports, uh, well, imports are through uh, dollars only, and 80% of the requirement is is actually imported. So that's the biggest overall factor that is contributing to strengthening of Indian rupee. The other two factors are lower bond yields in US and also uh, liquid the, in the market, the equities also going up. But the major uh, the reason remains the crude that has become softened further now even after the OPEC cut production. Rupee, the crude prices haven't gone up majorly and over the next few months also it looks like they will not go up. So this is something which is clearly benefiting Indian economy also in a big way. Uh, remember over the right. last few weeks we have seen rupee strengthening a lot. On Tuesday it saw its best in the last five years rupee was strengthened by 116 pesa. Right Sumit, so in a sense it is uh, global factors uh, and more importantly a specific factor like the global crude oil prices which is a very important factor that affects the Indian economy because our majority a huge chunk of our ex imports are in the form of crude so would you say that it's only uh, that the rupees right now tuned to the volatility in the crude oil prices if there were to be any volatility in crude oil prices then do you see the rupee getting back to its old ways of being under pressure but uh, yes of course Krishna but not these uh, overall the kind of uh, weakness we saw in, over the last few months well there were a lot of other factors that was were responsible because the uh, the global trade wars were also happening but at the peak over the last few months and there we saw the concerns rising among exporters of indian goods so there oh, that was one another reason but overall going forward it looks like crude prices right. if they remain in the same zone territory right. and global the trade wars don't go for worsen from here further rupee it's a good time or uh, stay is going to stay here Fingers crossed. Uh, Sumit, stay with us. We also have Mohan uh, Guruswamy, uh, analyst, uh, joining us uh, here on World is One for this uh, big story that we're tracking uh, this afternoon. Uh, Mohan, thank you so much for being with us. Uh, as uh, my colleague Sumit was just uh, telling us, uh, it, it is uh, crude oil prices and the softening of crude oil prices, which is essentially the reason why many say that the year 2019 uh, could be an extremely good year for the rupee after a rather sordid 2018. Well, it could be because, you know, crude oil prices are if they come down, uh, and then, you know, our, our trade deficit hopefully will, will reduce. But if crude oil prices come down, so will our exports will also come down because a lot of our exports take place to the countries which export crude and, you know, use that money to buy goods and services from us. So, that'll, so you know, it will probably be a better situation. But, you know, I personally don't expect crude oil prices to be down for very long because, you know, uh, there are pressures, the Iran sanctions will kick in and all other kinds of things. Russia is very interested in keeping prices up and Russia is the world's biggest producer of oil now and uh, so it will do its best to push prices up. So I see it, you know, uh, not going down to 50 or 40 but, you know, hovering around 60, 65 um, and 
So let's see uh, if that happens, you know, uh, then, you know, our trade deficit position may not improve substantially, uh, given the trend of falling exports. So uh, I personally think that, you know, the rupee will be under pressure again. That's the view coming in from Mohan Guruswami. Mr. Mohan Guruswami, thank you so much for taking time out with us here on World is One. We'll have to wait and watch, but for now, a very sweet surprise from the Indian currency rupee, which has uh, made uh, solid gains after an entire year almost of being under pressure. And thank you, Sumit.